At this time, I'll call the work session to order. Um, before we get into our meeting, we've got a special presentation. Ms. Dukes, would you like to? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners. At <clears throat> your last regular meeting, we went over our juvenile justice statistics and, and where we are with our grants. And one of the things that I mentioned to you program-wise that um, some of us have been involved in recently was the possible development of a college and career academy. And this will um, take our young people and get them on a living wage career path that also involves education certification um, a lot sooner than anything that we're currently doing. And I think that we see the impact and, and the opportunity there to break the cycle of generational poverty. In a lot of areas, we see a, a um, an evidence-based opportunity to decrease the number of young people who are entering the juvenile justice system here in our community. Um, <clears throat> but this, this initiative is just in the very infant stages of discussion. But I believe it's something that's going to catch track very quickly. And I want to make sure that you all are aware of it and have an opportunity to learn more, um, ask the expert more, more questions or get more information about it so that if you all feel that this is something that we can continue to champion, not just in our community, but in our region as well. Um, so with that, I'd like to introduce Ms. Mary Beth Brownlee. She is the director of One Valdosta Lounds, um, and she is also spearheading this initiative um, through that one. Um, so Mary Beth, welcome this morning. Thank you, and the floor is yours. Wonderful, thank you. 